Will there ever be more Gunny TV? Find out after the intro. So it's a very, very sad day today. Um, I'm driving out to Vienna Arsenal. Maybe the last time um, ever. For the people that know, um, Vienna Arsenal greeted me with open arms and provided me with tons of guns, which I could review to keep my channel alive when I came over from Germany. It was always a pleasure to work with these guys and um, sadly due to uh, unforeseen circumstances I wasn't able to film half as much as I wanted in the last year because last year I probably filmed once or two like twice yeah maybe twice and uh, I wanted to film every month I couldn't do that because uh, I didn't have the time so um, if we could have made this uh, possible filming every month I could have had videos for the next upcoming three years easily because like every week I'm pulling uh, I'm putting out one video it's actually two videos one is in German one is in English which kind of gives more people um, footage and stuff to learn about. I always considered this as uh, necessary as I'm from Germany and I've got a lot of followers from Germany so I wanted to have them also involved with the videos instead of just doing English content. So what happened? Um, I don't know the exact um, things that go on in the, in the background at Vienna Arsenal. Sadly, they have to close. They shut their doors uh, forever, and um, that means I'm not able to uh, access any guns for the future. I can't film anymore like this. This news uh, spread it pretty quickly as soon as I knew uh, it was over, so I can't go in and film anymore. Um, I try to film more videos um, on different ranges, maybe borrow their uh, guns and weapons, but I don't know how to do a review and do B-rolls on it if I don't have a studio. So, I'm filming this video for uh, two channels, actually. The Crown Vic uh, channel, which is why I have this set up and I'm filming right now in the car, just to get a little more attention to my gun channel. I mean, it's bigger but still, I know there's plenty of people out there who wants to see uh, stuff like that. And um, I try and give my best to give you more videos, more gun videos, because I just don't want to give up. I want to keep on doing this, because like, it was my hobby. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it. Let's say sweat and money and especially time, which I'm <laughs> I'm almost out of time with everything that I do. Um, it's so hard to spend more time if you have family, and I know of people out there, you know that. But I still uh, try to do my videos because I love it. It makes a lot of fun, and um, it's my hobby. It's what I love. The next thing is, which makes uh, it pretty hard for me doing my videos is the new 
YouTube guidelines. I think many of you already heard about it. The new YouTube guidelines um, prohibit people filming how to put a magazine into a gun or pull it out of the gun, which is absolutely stupid because it makes no sense at all. It's like you forbid to uh, car people filming how to get, get into the car and get out of the car or put your seatbelt on or off because it affects safety. I don't know. This is like, it's the most senseless thing I've ever seen on YouTube. And yes, we all know it. YouTube wants to get rid of all the gun content. That's for sure. I am still uploading my stuff on GunStreamer. I know it's not popular anymore, um, but I, I still don't know where to um, upload it anymore. It's like, I think there's more uh, websites that are gun friendly. I try to find them out and uh, start a channel there and put my stuff into the description so you can find this uh, website. But I, I still don't know where to do that. Yeah, it, it hurts me to know that these guys have to close their, sh their store. But hopefully we can provide you more videos, more content. I have like five videos left that I, um, where I did a review about a gun, but I haven't shot it. Because like either the gun was new, we couldn't take it out to the range, or I couldn't find any other range who has a gun. I'm gonna try and find out who has it so I can still shoot it and finish those videos. And also, I have made a video about one of the rifle operator courses um, at BC6, the guys that work with Vienna Arsenal. They also have to stop their, uh, their trainings because they're attached to Vienna Arsenal. So, sadly, they will have to end this but I'm still in contact with the guys and we decided to move on and make more videos so you guys have something to see and to watch. I think that makes sense. I'm heading over to Vienna Arsenal and maybe hopefully film there a little bit so you can see it a last time where I worked, what I did and yeah, to say goodbye to one of the greatest gun stores I've ever been to and um, really uh, loving people who helped me without any without questioning or, or asking for everything or like like anything and that, that's what made me happy it's like I went out and wanted to help them uh, but they saw it as like no we want to help you and it's like uh, never seen this uh, relationship before really sad that it's ending that quickly yeah so so far that's why I, what I wanted to say um, I hope you stay with me and don't unfollow me um, just so you know last time I checked out like only 5% of all my viewers are following, which still 1,500 uh, followers is a lot to me. But if this is 5%, then I have still a long way to go and I hope I can make better videos so all the viewers start following me. Okay, until then, um, thank you for watching and supporting um, I love your comments. Please be respectful in the comment section. That's all I want, uh, nothing else. And if you don't like the way the video is done, let me know. There's a couple of people telling me what they want to see and what they didn't like. And I'm always glad to hear that. That's how I can improve and make better videos for you. All right. 
See you then, guys.